was brought up in this musical family. My mom played accordion, my dad was a guitar player. When I was about seven years old, my dad gave me this little tenor banjo. He had it tuned like a mandolin. Showed me a few chords and then I played mandolin from the time I was about seven till I was old enough to get my hands around a guitar neck, probably around age nine or 10. And the reason I really got obsessed with guitar was Chet Atkins. One day my dad heard me working on this particular Chet Atkins song. And he said, if you learn to play that song, I'll buy you an electric guitar. Well, that was like on a Tuesday I started working on it and I had it down by Friday, so. <laughs> so he had to ante up. Even as a young kid, when I heard guitar players on records, I always wanted to be that guy that was sitting there backing somebody up, you know? I just was very interested in, you know, pursuing the studio thing, but I had no idea how to do that. I went to a concert one night, this group, the Imperials, and afterwards I approached the band leader. They hired me, so I ended up moving to Nashville. From there, I got approached by Amy Grant's organization to uh, do a tour with her. So the first tour I did with Amy, I actually ended up playing bass. And then uh, the second tour that I did, they moved me over to guitar. So I've been kind of staying in the guitar world ever since. I've always been pulled into music that grabbed my ear, something that was different from the mainstream thing. The more complicated, the more interested I have been. There's so much of that that goes on in the jazz world, so it was just kind of a natural thing for me to be pulled into that whole scene, you know. It didn't surprise me that he made a jazz record. You know, we're all the same, all of us that are afflicted with this. We all. We all want to stretch our boundaries, paint outside the lines. Tom has, has always been a surprise and a bit of a mystery to me. I've witnessed a couple of live gigs where he's been with some jazz or progressive players, and I went, wow, I didn't even know. The brain has to be wired a certain way in which to do that. And some people are wired that way, some people aren't. I am not wired that way to the degree that Tom is. Now, I love Tom's playing ever since I first met him, and uh, I always thought he was innovative, tasteful. Uh, he never ceases to surprise me with his ability and his tones. I love listening to players that are so beyond my ability or just different from my abilities because it's their soul, it's their signature. And his facility and choice of notes is unlike any other guitar player I've ever heard. He just, I keep trying to go like, why well, have a different mindset. And the best musicians are not just pigeonholed as a great country player or a great jazz player. They're just great players. Just when you think you've heard it all, somebody comes along. I really hope this is a big record for him or he gets a lot of attention. This uh, studio that I'm in, I've been in here for 27 years. Through the years, I have gone through a gamut of speakers. 
And the problem I always ran into, whatever I got sounding halfway decent in here, when I would take it other places, it's like, that's not the same thing coming back that I'm hearing in my room. About two or three years ago, I was contacted by Mike Hedden of Danley Sound Labs. And he contacted me and said, hey man, I'd love for you to hear some of my speakers. We're starting in this new studio line. He came to my place one day and brought a bunch of speakers and we checked these things out and I was just blown away. When you're listening to them, it sounds like whoever's playing is sitting right there in the room with you. They're just so distinct and so clear and so natural sounding. I ended up with some of these speakers that I've been mixing on for a while and it has solved pretty much all my mixing problems. When I mix now, I take some of these mixes to other places, listen, I'm going, oh yeah, that's what I want it to sound like. And ultimately we ended up mixing the new album, Dealing It, on these speakers. And the result of that is everyone listens to the record and they says, oh my gosh, this thing sounds amazing. I can't say enough great things about Family speakers, they just sound phenomenal in every situation. last couple years, this album came together in a series of recording workshops that we were doing at Sweetwater. I leaned a lot on Mark in the recording process when we recorded all this stuff. He's, I mean, he's responsible for getting all the great basic sounds of, of the record. And Tom had taken some of these tracks and sent some rough mixes to some of his friends, like Steve Lukather and Jay Graydon and some other cats. So we were all sharing music back and forth, and every time I would share one of these tunes, I got some incredible feedback. I would like to say one thing to my very good friend, Tom Hemby. You piss me off, man. You play much too good. And all these guitar players were listening to these songs going, Tom, this is really a special record. You need to put it out. And I think that was the push for him and me to, hey, let's actually carve out the time, go into the studio, finish this thing, and put it out there because this music's really cool and it has something to say. is outstanding. Every cat in the band is a monster player. In the Tom Hemby band, we have my dear friend Mark Douthat, someone I have worked with many years, and he is one of my all-time favorite sax players. Adam Nitty, bassist. Michael Whitaker, same thing on keyboards. And then uh, the great Keith Carlock on drums. This record is going to come out in 2022, and this project is very important to me. I mean, I put my whole heart and soul into this thing, and it's it's just I think it should surprise people. I think that this is not just a jazz record; it is a pop record in a very jazz idiom because it's very listenable and it's very good. Anyone that listens to this album is going to feel the emotion. 
and is going to be knocked out, especially if they're a musician, because it's just delicious on every level.